Hey, hey, beautiful people. It is December the 17th, 2013 at 1035 in the morning. We are having a gorgeous day here in Florida. I don't think we could have a much more blue sky. It's uh, absolutely wonderful. I've had an amazing past couple of weeks. Um, it actually began with my... Uh, my trip to the east coast at Ormond Beach with a, a wonderful friend and uh, has continued with visitors ever since. It's been going on for about five or six weeks now and this past weekend I went up to Panama City to join the Opal Tour and uh, all the guys from OPPT and meet with Brian Kelly and Lisa Harrison and and uh, Bob Wright and just I mean bukus of other persons and uh, I had a most wonderful experience and we all got to share a lot of views and perceptions and uh, potentialities for what we see the the world developing into and um, there's a lot of things going on with OPPT right now and a lot of things going on with uh, the beginning of um, places where we can uh, where we can gather and, and start a new way of living and uh, that's kind of what I want to talk about on this video today is <laughs> I had uh, I had told Brian and a few of the other guys there my vision on how to pull people um, how to to change the way we live rather than um, always going to work to earn money to give to the mortgage companies and the banks and all the interest that that's required and the taxes that are taken from from working and being in the system and the constant having to travel and being paying for uh, your fuel and being on uh, uh, the use of, of gasoline as um, a way how to to have a fuel for our transportation anyway I, I have had this dream for a while that it's time to share I, uh, I spoke to to the guys at the gathering about it and and it it's really rather simple we can we can very easily change the planet just by changing how we live and what we do and many of us are getting tired of, of the struggle in um, in the three and four D illusion, the experience, the false economy that we've got going here, that so many people think is real, but they're now struggling in because they've been drawn into that and can't seem to get out. Well, anyway, there there is some backing that is uh, going on to develop a, a new way of being, and and it's happening on a great scale. And it's time for ideas on how to change the way we live to come out. Now, in my personal ideas, I've, I've, I've got many because uh, I'm an inventor and I've been dealing with uh, remote home systems and, and being off-grid or living bush for quite a bit of uh, my life. And uh, now that we have 3D printers, 3D printing capabilities, that just changes everything. Now here's my idea. If uh, we can uh, change the way we live and become mobile and become used to a different type house rather than these fixed houses that we have here that require so much um, materials like cutting down the forests or mining metals or all the stuff that goes on into modern day houses um, and we can change our what we consider a home and actually have a home but a different type of home more like um, an RV a mobile home we have the capabilities these days to print our own RVs. Um, 3D printing, 3D ABS printing is now developed to such that we can print small parts 
for a 3D printer that produce larger parts for a larger printer and a 3D printer can produce a printer what we need to do is to advance our printing capabilities so that we can literally print RVs houses uh, uh, and do things in a way that uh, we had not done before think about printing a Winnebago except this Winnebago would be different this Winnebago would be an electric vehicle an EV Australia just a few months ago started printing solar panels flexible solar panels onto um, various things they already have uh, siding that's used for solar panels or solar panels and flexible roofing but I'm talking about printing a 3d solar panel if we are printing ABS if we can print ABS Winnebago's <laughs> a mobile home something that runs off of electricity and we can print a solar panel on the outside of that mobile home and now we have graphene batteries which can hold hundreds if not thousands of the times of charge than the, the than the lithium batteries that are out there but even more than that getting away from having to have so many batteries which is um very cost ineffective at this point it'll go down in the future as as these graphene batteries and lithium batteries actually uh uh become more available or uh you know where they've broken the the grid work on on cost versus production and in you know the cost of the end consumer if we utilize solar panels on top of our rv um to utilize the the electricity that could be generated from the sun and that is run through a fuel cell which acts as an electrolyzer in one way and which generates the electricity in the reverse way depending on how you uh, input the electricity uh, your fuel cell could be separating water into hydrogen hydrogen and oxygen h2o and you release the oxygen and you save the hydrogen in storage tanks just like they have hydrogen vehicles out there now which actually run off of hydrogen as far as the the combustion but they're very inefficient because they are high rpm motors that are not uh, not really designed for efficiency that's the problem with our internal combustion engines and running hydrogen off of them but hydrogen in a fuel cell is uh, is a highly efficient way to uh, to separate water into H H and O and also in reforming that hydrogen taking oxygen from the air reforming with electrical an electrical charge that hydrogen into water again in producing electricity so solar panels on top of an RV would be taking water and fracturing it into hydrogen and oxygen and releasing the oxygen into the air and storing the hydrogen until such time would you wish to travel um, it can also the solar panels once um, you can also uh, store that electricity into batteries but by saving it in hydrogen you actually don't need the batteries so much um, batteries would be good and there's there's fantastic uh, uh, combinations to make something like this happen but we could utilize um, hydrogen as our fuel which produces um, only water heat and electricity when that hydrogen is recombined back through the fuel cells and generating the power to drive the electric motor which would drive the RV or Winnebago whatever you print out the mobile home we could have certain areas since it's printed inside the mobile home for tower aquaponics growing um by creating mobile homes like this 
what we're doing is number one we're not utilizing all the the resources like we are using now to build houses in 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 the current state of the way we live as humanity it it requires a lot to build a house right now and to haul the materials back and forth and to mine the materials and to build the tools to mine the materials or harvest uh the forests and the factories that it requires to to make all this this is a whole economy that really we can do away with by just switching the way that we live by developing RVs like this and using them as a home we not only limit those amount of materials necessary to mine and harvest the product that we use to build these houses or even concrete which keeps water from going into mother earth wherever we have concrete slabs which is damaging to mother earth and all of this stuff has a very low life expectancy just like our rv or vehicle would but these vehicles if we have a printed abs rv and we are going with this type of technology all of the materials would be 100 percent recyclable and could be made from plastics that are actually grown from soybean or hemp or or um or other ways that we now have to to manufacture plastics which means it can be biodegradable and um, as well as recyclable and that's a huge thing what we would be doing in creating RV systems like this or, or, or home systems like this we have the ability to to remove persons from the need to be paying the banks for their mortgages which is a whole everybody who watches my videos understands the banking system and how they're enslaving humanity by the banking system by the interest by the taxes that that the government charges you to work and and you end up spending your life trying to trying to earn your way because you were born a human which should not be that's an enslavement system by building 3d printed recreational vehicles or homes mobile homes if you wish like this we could remove all humans from that system and we could remove the destruction of mother earth and and we could change the whole economy because you haven't got to pay the mortgages you're not dealing with the interest in the banking systems you're not dealing with paying for fossil fuels and that type of fuel for running your vehicles um, and that relieves you from the need to be locked into the system and enslaved which is what OPPT has been doing is to free us from um, from that system all I'm saying is let's take this a step farther and free humanity in a different way by developing what we need to create mobile homes it would be a a, a very grand uh thing to give humanity their own printed mobile home that might cost say fifty thousand dollars a piece once we develop the technology which the technology is already there we just got to bring it together into one point and utilize it in a way that can produce something like this or well we we free humanity from having to struggle to work and people could actually live their lives freely in your state parks and national parks and in national forests um you can go camping at at a campsite and be there for 14 days free of charge and then just move to the next campsite later become mobile now with this idea um just like i've been doing here on this farm ranch that i'm living on if we had 
say, acreage from 100 to 1,000 acres where someone or groups of persons are planting orchards and vineyards and organic gardens and, and having ponds for, for aquaponics and, and, um, and setting places up where people can come to and still have elbow room, be free, and have their food source and stuffs taken care of, then you have freed humanity from being forced to work in the system and having to pay for their life being on Earth. <laughs> um, we hear much about Nasara, and uh, lately it's been about other gold, just like what Neil Keenan is talking about with the, the Dragon Society. Um, and... This past weekend with OPPT, there's even more uh, potentials out there as far as financing for a project as this, which could free humanity. These projects are real, and, um, and there's some big fights behind the scenes trying to release um, funding to humanity. But what is the best thing that we could do to change um, our current state on earth change the way we live change the way we have our houses about being fixed about having to cut down the forest or mine the materials that produce these houses about all the the waste that we have in in the excess of of just like cutting a log into lumber you've got so much waste there um by changing our way we look at a home and by becoming mobile we could change all of humanity that is willing to change that's not saying they would be forced into it they could actually you know whoever wants to live the old way and be in the old system fine and dandy honky dory whoever wants to be free that's great too there is potential there is um, there is a way to do this and, um, and that's what I'm saying in this video. There are ways to design RVs where as you were driving down the road and just like you had a grill in the front of your vehicle, which, uh, which used to, it was for cooling a radiator that cooled down the in inefficient internal combustion engine that was in there. By switching to an electric motor, you're limiting the weight um, by having a, a printed plastic vehicle. You're limiting the weight. You're also making something that's not going to be as damaged as easily as a metal vehicle, too. And in that same grill up front, you can build an airframe as such where it takes and compresses airflow as it comes into the vehicle as the vehicle's driving down the road and run through wind turbines run through other alternate ways of generating electricity which propels propels the vehicle forward while it's in motion too there are so many different ideas for that we can do that that work that is out there that we can shift to if we all start coming together and working on these projects We'll need good CAD designers, computer-aided design to, to, in fact, CAD is going to be the thing to learn, um, which I would need to get back into. I was CAD CAM trained back in the 1980s and have not been in CAD since. But for 3D printing, that's truly the great thing, is how to design what it is you wish to print into the computer and so now there's so many of us that that have design capabilities and that have good ideas and we really need to start coming together at a certain place and designing vehicles or tools that that we can print out when when these printers start coming online because they're going to we are literally it, it's already there. We've just got to have the money and a place to put this technology together and to bring it forth for humanity. Something that dawned on me in Ballard Fuel Cells is uh, out of Vancouver, Canada, is one of the great fuel cell um, 
research facilities on planet kind of cool to have have it um you know with my name on it <laughs> but uh that's that's a distant cousin that's up there and um and mr ballard just passed on here in the past couple of years but the fuel cell company still uh, is still going strong and they're still advancing and developing pem and other types of fuel cells that um that runs on various fuels but what we're talking about here are fuel cells that run on water they're a, a, a PEM membrane uh, permeable membrane fuel cell which can either fracture water into hydrogen and oxygen with an input voltage or in reverse with an input voltage put it back together and generate even uh, greater electricity these fuel cells it's finally dawning on me that the the expense of the fuel cell has been in the limited manufacturing of these fuel cells. If we can print pretty much any machinable part and do that at high tolerances, why could we not also print fuel cells in the catalyst membranes that causes the reaction that separates or re, uh, chemically reintroduces hydrogen and oxygen into water? Why can't we print those out? We can print metal out now. We've got all these different new printable technologies which could which limits the cost of manufacturing. It just it comes down to building the machines that can do the manufacturing and not having the labor. And in this way of of utilizing the technology can free us all from the system. We wouldn't have to work. We wouldn't have to uh, be enslaved by the created economic system that we've got going down now. See what I'm saying? <laughs> and if we had various places all over the planet, which we could draw, drive our RVs into, and these places might be limited in the amount of persons that they're willing to accept, but we've got places to stay that are already growing um, foods and vegetables, and, and even storing it for trade and then we bring our other skills and our abilities where we can share with everybody and we're not spending our time working all the time but we're spending our time more playing all the time doesn't this make sense to change the world <laughs> um, it's an idea that I've had for quite some time and now's the time that that it really needs to happen and that it's it's uh we have the potential to do this now but what we need is the places and the backing and and those persons willing to come together that has the expertise that can be input to the development of the projects and once the project is developed the interesting part about it is it might be developed in one or two places, but it can be replicated any place on the planet. Any place on the planet can be producing vehicles. All you need is, is a warehouse to do it in or, or a piece of property to do it on and the materials to do it with. And you can draw the information from a center database uh, that is located any place on the planet or, or in all the places on the planet. Um, at this point, we're not trying to own ideas anymore and to patent them for personal uh, gain. We're trying to give our ideas freely to humanity so that we can change the, the whole world and the way that we do things. That's a really cool thing. Um, I have wind turbine ideas that the 3D printer will work uh, very well with, and we'll be we'll be getting into those in the future too. Um, and 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 it's time. It's time. Um, I would suggest uh, that we start developing a place where we can come together and talk about these things. And I would hope that. Uh, Maybe Brian Kelly or, or Bob Wright or Lisa Harrison and though PPT and those guys might provide a place where um, where we can start to come together and share our ideas 
and build it into something that um, is workable in the future. It's just like these RVs that were purchased to take uh, the Opal Tour and the guys from OPPT across country. We can build these things, we can print these things out of plastic and not have to use gasoline as the input fuel and still be able to go across country just like that. We have the technology, it's already here, it's off the shelf. It just needs to be brought together and, and have persons who have ideas and inputs and skills and capabilities. It needs to be brought together into one place where we can develop this. Um, there's talk about with the OPBT talk, it's, it's actually happening. The Prince of Morocco is uh, donating some land for the first place that we can uh, start doing projects is this and in uh, my messages are get ready <laughs> get ready to travel and possibly go to Morocco for doing something like this because it needs to happen we need to free humanity we need to bring together the ideas in, in, in what we have off the shelf right now not in the future time right now that we can put together and everything that I've mentioned in this video is off the shelf right now we can do it if anybody has any other ideas and comments on ways to change humanity and to change how we live as society on planet earth please make your comments under this video if you have places where we can come together and share ideas uh, as this on how to shift reality or where websites are with persons already working on this please uh, please post links and comments in our your videos on the subject under this video on YouTube anyway what a marvelous time we're living in it is uh, these energies are just truly amazing and um, and I've got another video that uh, I'll be doing after this. I, with the spending so much time with other peoples in my field, which I've been a hermit for the past couple of years. I haven't been around too many other people, so I've been able to hold my field. I ended up uh, getting knocked off this past weekend, and it was a good thing. <laughs> and anyway, I've got a video up and coming about getting knocked off of my center and and not really into my ego, but, but out of holding this level of light and frequency, the higher levels of vibration. And it was a great thing. It was absolutely fabulous. And it showed me the difference between walking in the state of grace and channeling the field and then being back to a 4D perspective that's vertical and linear. Although I am 5D and in but it, it's perceptions. It's, it's where you align your consciousness with. And for me, it was very interesting to, to have that experience and to come back down out of those higher levels of vibration to experience accidents and, and the stumbling of my words and having to think about things. And it was really cool and I needed that. And anyway, I'll do another video on that later. But anyway, uh, love y'all. Bye for now. What a fantastic time. Man, last night with the full moon, did any of you guys see the cross that was going on between Jupiter and Mars going through Orion's, almost through the shoulders and belt of Orion and two Sirius? There was a cross right there going through with the moon at a 45 de degree angle above Orion's shoulder. And man, how magnificent. That was truly amazing. Anyway, um, time to leave this video alone because it was all about RVs and how to change the system and I don't need to be putting all this other stuff into it. So anyway, love y'all. Bye for now.